and I'm back to the YouTube channel. It's been a, it's been about, it's been a little break, but I'm back. The only reason why I didn't do the Cove City Derby uh, review and preview is because it was my birthday weekend. I'm now not so age, but um, ah, uh, 14. Who cares? I'm 14 years old, and yeah, it's massive. Um, uh, I have a 14th birthday, so I couldn't do the Cove City Derby re preview or review. So we're back though. With a World Cup qualifies Europe semi-final predictions, and there's only four games um, out of six because Poland automatically qualify because of what's going on in Russia and Ukraine. And Ukraine Scotland has been postponed. We don't know when they're gonna play, but I'm not gonna predict that because um yeah I don't I might nah I won't yeah. But moving on to the first game, which is Portugal versus Turkey. What a game this is gonna be. Portugal with Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes and all that plays. And, you know, Portugal, they should win. They should win. Um, you know, Turkey didn't have the best of Euros, but it, it, it's way, way past that now, isn't it? Portugal have a decent side. This could be Ronaldo's last World Cup, and I think it could be Ronaldo's last World Cup. Um, but they have to go, probably go through Italy to, uh, to get to the, to the World Cup. But firstly, they have to beat Turkey. They're at home. I see, yeah, they're at home. So, you know, they have the advantage in that department. They have advantage in many ways. Turkey are just not that good of a side. Um, you know, we all thought they'll be the dark horse, mate. They were dreadful in the Euros and recently they haven't been the best, playing the best football. But at the end of the day, Portugal, they do need to win this game and they should win this game. But at the end of the day, you know, it's going to be a tough one. You know, we all think to, to, to Portugal should win this game, but can Turkey surprise them? I don't think they will. I think being two nil Portugal, I think it could be a Ronaldo masterclass. I think a goal and assist for him, and let's give uh, Bruno Fernandes a goal as well. And I, I do know more players than them, them two at Portugal. Portugal are a very good side, but yeah, two nil Portugal for me. Moving on to Wales, Austria, the fellow United Kingdom place. Oh, brilliant. Now, um, you know, Wales, Bale, Ramsey, I think that they could, they, them two could win them the game. It, it's simple as that. They are, they, they are that good. They could win them the game against Austria. But then they have to play Scotland. Who knows when? Um, but yeah, it's going to be a fascinating one. To be fair, the World Cup draw is happening on Friday the 1st when are when are Scotland and Ukraine gonna play are Ukraine even gonna play um that, that's gonna be a separate video but and it might be a separate video but Wales you know decent sides are Gareth Bale and all that that, that them two could just win Wales the game um Austria yeah they have Sabitza um and Altovic he's decent they have some good players I'm not gonna lie Austria they, they're to be fair I think Austria are the favourites I think this is such an even game. You, you can't say who's got who's a favourite because it's so even. And Wales could win this game. Yeah, Wales could win this game. But I think Austria could throw a card in in the wishing well. But I'm gonna go two one Wales. I'm gonna go home advantage. I think the Welsh fans, my mate Sam Foley, yeah Sam, he's going to the game. So I wish him um, a journey to Wales, a very safe journey to Wales, and a very safe journey and a happy journey back to England. Um, but it's going to be such an interesting game. So interesting. You know, Wales, yeah, they could sign all, but Austria, they could, they could surprise them. But yeah, Wales, I think will win. Moving on to Sweden, Czech Republic, and them to play, po whoever wins that game plays Poland. Poland have automatically qualified to the, uh, the final because of what's happening in Russia. And Russia have been sanctioned so much. Loads of stuff have been banned from there, like, just for one man's decision, it's it's dreadful. Um, Peter, get out. Um, get out. But uh, you know, Sweden got a good side. Ibrahimovic has, I think he's not announced retirement, but I think he will retire. He may play in this game. Um, I haven't seen the teams. I should have seen the teams, but I haven't. But Czech Republic, they're a good side. Yeah, they're a good side. Um, they lost it to Wales, but they qualified already because of their na Nations League success. But you know. Czech Republic, Sweden, it's so even. I'm going to go 1 0 Czech Republic. I have, an, I have a feeling that Czech will, will check them way into the World Cup, uh, for, for World Cup qualified playoffs. But yeah, 
Moving on to the last game, that's Italy North Macedonia. It should be a free win for Italy. If you if you think about it realistically, it should be a free win for Italy. They won the Euros. They should have qualified already, but Switzerland went um won it against them. Fair enough to Switzerland. Switzerland went in first. Italy in the second. Italy now have to play North Macedonia and probably Portugal, maybe Turkey, but they have to go through this hurdle against North Macedonia. It is a hurdle. It's any team is a hurdle. It's a hard team to play, hard team to beat. Um. But Italy, yeah, it should get the job done. If if you're thinking about realistically, Italy should get the job done. Uh, Serena, Italy, you know, that Barella, Chiesa, Jorginho in the in the team, and and that's just naming a few of them. They got the two like old centre backs in Benucci and Chiellini, which is really massive. But yeah, that wraps up the video. That's my prediction. Um, all of all, all of them, and I think it'll be Portugal. Wales, Czech Republic and Italy going through and then Poland going through. Not too sure about Scotland and Ukraine. But yeah, that wraps up the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Subscribe on me and England are back. We're going to be doing England's Switzerland preview on Friday. Interesting one. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye.